Hello, welcome to a Brawl modding tutorial. Uh, this is editing .rel files. Uh, what a .rel file is, it's kind of like a complementary file to the .pack. Uh, each character has one, each stage has one, and they kind of set up some rules and some regulations and some other stuff about the .packs. Uh, let's move on to the downloads. <coughs> so at this uh, Mediafire folder, you have the data partition for the whole Brawl ISO. Uh, that link will be in the description, so follow along with me now. You open that, and you go to Module, and you're going to have to go down. It's default to 20 here, but there's 126 .rel files in this web folder. So go down until you find uh, STG final dot pack, which is a I mean dot rel, of course. Uh, that is of obviously the dot rel for final destination. That's the one we're going to be using today, and I'll explain why it makes the most sense later. But uh, if you just want that link, I will also include just the um, just the link to this download in case you just want to follow along with the tutorial and get it done quick. So look for both the web folder and this link in the description. Next you'll need Barrow, a user from uh, Smash World Forums stage switcher file. It's a great program, much easier than the hex editing way. And this is the method we're going to be going th with uh, for this tutorial. So download this as well. When you have all three of those downloaded, you'll have this rel file, a stage switcher folder, and that's it. So open up your stage switcher folder. You'll notice edited rel, readme2, and stage switcher. It's usually a good idea to read the readme, but you have me, so what's the difference? What you're going to do is put your unedited .rels in the rel folder run stage switcher, and they will come out in the edited folder. Basic stuff. Right click, drag your stage final rel into the .rel folder. Double check that it's in there. Go back, run stage switcher. Now is when I'd like to talk about what an rel file in regards to final destination actually does. Basically, for the purpose of this tutorial, we can replace many things over final destination. As we all know, we can replace it with final and subspace emissary stages, uh, two-dimensional stages that we've learned from other tutorial, uh, elements like we, our own custom 3D stages. Basically, everything can go over final destination. So what we're going to do is make a more difficult stage to replace over, in fact, 75 meter. We're going to take that stage and basically make it the same uh, the same replacing properties as Final Destination, which would be a great help because 75 meter, not really fun to play on, super gimmicky. Final Destination based stages, you can do whatever you want. So when you open this up, any .rel you have in the, doc, in the .rel folder will be here. So you can have up to whatever you want. You can have every .rel in the whole game in here. So click on it. And it'll ask you, what stage is this file? And you obviously know that's Final Destination. Again, you can do this for any stage. But what we're actually doing is making this REL someone else's. So it's always a, I, I can't really think of a reason you'd need the other ones for this specific purpose of replacing files over. But I'm sure there will be other reasons later. And I'll make tutorials on those. So now you choose what stage you want to replace. And the nice thing about this is it doesn't reset every time you do it. So if you watch, we can click on 75 meters, start, completed successfully, OK. It goes in the edited folder. We can check that out. And it renames it for you to stage donkey, which is the 75 meter stage. And what you'll need to do with this is move it onto your SD card. What I was saying, the nice thing is it doesn't refresh anything. So you can just go, OK, I did 75 meter. Now I'd like to do. Rumble Falls, or now I'd like to do Hannenbaum. You can just keep doing that. 
over and over until you get whatever you want. I personally replaced eight stages and have eight SSE stages on my stage select screen now. So just have fun, go crazy. Uh, with your new .rel file, open up your SD card, private, we, app, rsbe, pf, module, if you don't have this folder, make it. And in here we have, well if you have to make it, then it's probably blank. But all you'll have to do, right click drag, copy here, I've already done it. And once it's in there, uh, 75 meters has the same uh, replacing properties as Final Destination. So you might go, okay, that's great, but it's still 75 meters. I mean, I don't have a custom stage over that. I'll go over that right now really quickly. Go to PF, Stage, Melee, and go down until you find your Stage Donkey. If you don't have every file, then you'll just need to copy something in here. I personally have a backup for every file in my SD. Might as well. So here it is. This is the original. And over here, I have a convenient SSE stage. It's that first stage you play on on Subspace Emissary, that Mario vs. Kirby Stadium, which later you fight PD Piranha on. Uh, so all you need to do is right-click, and this can be any custom stage. I mean, it could be that uh, platform destination that we made in that other tutorial. It could be Final Destination. It could be another Subspace Emissary stage. It could be a two-dimensional stage, whatever you want. Just rename it to STG Donkey. Enter, right click, drag it over here, copy here, copy and replace, and now your SSE stage is over 75 meter, and when you select it in game, you will actually be playing on uh, that stage that you replaced it with, whatever stage that may be. As always, I recommend keeping a backup. I've done so here with every stage I've replaced with the uh, Affix original. Always a good idea. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks again to Barrow for making that great stage switching program. And watch out for the demonstration. Should be up later. Go vote for the next tutorial on my blog. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who's been helping me. And I hope you continue to enjoy modding Brawl. Thanks.